Welcome to the Fasting Podcast, WOW! Wellness in Optimal Weight. I'm your host, Julie Phillips, Certified Natural Health Professional, bringing you Episode 101, Daniel Fast with Time-Restricted Eating. The Daniel Fast is a biblical fast as documented in the Bible in the book of Daniel. I'm going to read you a couple of excerpts. Daniel 1.12 states, Please test your servants for 10 days and let them give us vegetables, pulses, to eat and water to drink. Daniel 10, 2-3, which says, In those days I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. I ate no pleasant food, no meat or wine came into my mouth, nor did I anoint myself at all till three whole weeks were fulfilled. Daniel did it for spiritual reasons as well as for the mind and the body, and he did it initially 21 days, reportedly later for three years, and both Jesus and Moses did it for 40 days. Many people in current times do it for 21 days, some only do it for 10, and some say, hey, I'm just going to do it three and see if I can handle going further. It's excellent as a first experience or a later experience with fasting. It actually can become a healthy lifestyle, heating that you're getting sufficient protein intake long term. What is it? Very simple. Whole foods, eating from the earth, plant-based diet, water, vegetables, fruit, seeds, nuts, ancient grains, no meat or dairy or any animal products, and no processed foods, which didn't exist then. And modern day choices would be organic fruits, lower glycemic, seeds and nuts sprouted, grains avoiding gluten. If coffee is required, only organic and very little, and I do know of a healthy coffee, by the way, and avoid processed foods that are labeled natural. Stick to things that are simple and Before you're starting, you might want to consider weaning off the caffeine if that is an issue for you and weaning off processed foods while consuming more pure water. Amount of water might be six to eight glasses a day or half your body weight in ounces of pure water per day. Check your numbers on the body composition scale. You can get one for less than $30 on Amazon. Plan to include probiotics in your food or supplement form. Plan for three times per day spending spiritual time. For example, maybe five minutes in prayer, five minutes reading the Bible, five minutes praise and worship, and you might want to do that three times a day. Follow your heart and do what you feel led to do. If you're not sure if you could do the whole 21 days or more, start with three days perhaps and may feel great. Consume plentiful pure water. We talked about how much, but please avoid the small plastic bottled water because they're very toxic and they wreak havoc with your hormone receptors. Purified tap water would be a nice choice. And if you use reverse osmosis or distilled water, a few shakes of pink sea salt can remineralize that water for you. You may combine time-restricted eating during the Daniel Fast. For example, 16-8. An example is 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. to give the system a chance to burn off toxin-laden fat. You may even consider a periodic 24-hour or even 28-hour fast while you're in your 21-day Daniel fast. So for example, from noon one day, instead of stopping at noon the next day, You could go to 4 p.m. You'll get to eat on both days. So the 28-day might be something extremely valuable in detoxing the body. The Daniel Fast is for us to learn more about and better ourselves and our relationship with God. We're encouraged to strive for excellence in our skills, accomplishments, and goals. So writing down your goals can really be a valuable thing and is encouraged. Very thin people sometimes are referred to as cold types, and they might like more of the cooked foods and soups, while the overweight or hot types may like more raw fruits and veggies. Beans and legumes and other proteins are very important to preserve muscle mass, and check your body composition number on your little scale halfway through and at the end, and see how you're doing preserving your muscle percent. 
When you're done with the fast, ease back into additional food slowly with less volume. And you can add only one new food per one day or several days to see how it's making you feel and not overwhelming the system. So kind of gently easing back out of the fast. And when you're done, guess what? The microbiome, gut, and digestion might be way better than before you started this. It might help with breaking bad habits like addictions, and even things like skin, hormones, nearly everything might improve, including absorption of your nutrients, your allergies, weight, mood. It's a great program. For questions or suggestions, contact me, Julie, at jpwowprograms.com. And please, please, please refer others to the podcast so more people can benefit from the 20 years of experience that is really trying to help the world. Website jpwowprograms.com has more interesting items you might find valuable. Stay positive, focused, and determined because where the mind goes, energy flows.